No matter if your fitness goal is to lose fat, lose weight, gain muscle, get the muscle mass, get both, completely transform your body, completely transform your headspace, completely transform anything, body, mind, and spirit. I will show you how you're going to get to that goal using our signature framework here at Superhero Forge. Let's do this. We're transforming, baby. It's morphin' time! And welcome back to the Superhero Forge Podcast. I am Troy Bushido, 10-year-plus personal trainer. Well, kind shape, sizes, and a 30-plus-year fan of Power Rangers. Because we're transforming, baby. Actually, one of my favorite episodes of Rick and Morty is the fortune cookie episode. Rick has this ability to change into a disguise called I of Thundera! Give me suits beyond suits! But today we're going to be talking about a signature framework we do here at Superhero Forge. It's the base framework we base every fitness program on. And at Superhero Forge, we train people not only on an individual basis, but on a group basis. We create community, but we also know everyone's on their own individual journey. The framework is called the Triforce of Transformation. It'll eventually be called the Trinity of Transformation if and when Superhero Forge gets so big that Nintendo is going to take notice. And I do not want to be sued by a Japanese corporation spearheaded by an Italian plumber that can literally kill me by landing on my head with his butt. So what is the Triforce of Transformation? In my life, every good thing comes in threes. And this is a framework where if you cover three bases in your fitness and health program, you are going to get the body of your dreams. The first Triforce. Da 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 is the Triforce of Movement. I always start with the Triforce of Movement with every single client. Why? Because I like to help my client build momentum. And the way to build momentum towards your goal is to start with the simplest thing that you can execute right away with very little delay. Anybody can get five to 10,000 10, steps a day and it doesn't have to be walking steps certainly doesn't have to be running steps and it most certainly doesn't have to be burpees now it could be as simple as exercising your fandoms what i call it basically a way to consume your fandoms while still being able to what if you slapped a walking treadmill under your computer desk and you walked while playing final fantasy 14 you do that what if you walked outside with an audiobook in your headphones I did it too. I called it My Cardio Academia. I watched MHA episodes on a Stairmaster or on an exercise bike. And I stayed on that cardio piece of equipment at steady state for the duration of an episode. It's as simple as that. There's going to be big debates about what is the best form of cardio. So we always start Triforce of Movement. 5 to 10k steps of your favorite activity. Like I said, the first example was... Fandom exercising, meaning movement while enjoying your fandoms. A more advanced example that I've done with certain clients is something I like to call character conditioning. And a celebrity trainer, what they would do if they had an actor or actress that had to be in shape for like a superhero role, obviously that actor had to do specialized conditioning to get ready for the role. So for instance, um, Black Panther, RIP, Factory Chadwick Boseman learned not only Filipino martial arts with stick and knife fighting, but learned old school Zulu spear and shield fighting. Keanu Reeves was at the gun range for days and hours to perfect John Wick. Will Smith was at the gun range for dead shots. I remember this is outside of superhero realm, but Jennifer Lopez, I think the movie's called Hustlers. She learned pole dancing because she was going to be like a madam in a strip club. And this was created in the very early days of Superhero Forge, when my original inspiration with creating the brand was to be like a celebrity fitness trainer, but for cosplayers. So you have the beginner version, exercising fandoms. You have the advanced version, character conditioning. What would your character need to learn? And can you learn it too? Boom. Second Triforce, 
Da -da -da -da. Try force of nutrition. And let me tell you why. 70% of your results, whether it's weight loss or muscle gain, is going to be dependent on your eating habits. We will never be able to outmove a bad diet. Most awesome workouts, both strength and cardio, probably burn 300 calories per workout. You can easily eat that back with a simple bowl of ramen. You can double that at a McDonald's drive-thru. You will never out-train bad eating habits. Not only will trying to out-train a bad set of eating habits not work, but it can create disordered eating. When a person decides to do more exercise because of what they ate, to try to burn off the calories they gained, now, now all of a sudden exercise becomes a true punishment. Punishment workouts, that's not what you're supposed to do. That creates disordered eating at the least and actual eating disorder at worst. You don't want to do that. So if you have great eating habits at the front set, after you definitely, after you discovered what your favorite types of movement is, what your favorite form of five to 10K steps a day would be, now we hammer the eating habits. All things considered equal, you will lose weight on a calorie deficit. If you are burning more calories than you're taking in on any given day, you will lose scale weight. If you cover the other two facets of the Triforce of Transformation, it will ensure that the calories being burned and the weight being lost will be body fat and not muscle. And like I said, 70% of your results are gonna come from those eating habits. The movement will boost your progress up by an additional 15%. So if you were never to strength train, in theory, you would be 85% there just by walking and by eating better. A mild calorie deficit that still feeds you energy and still feeds your body with the right nutrients it needs to sustain its program and not get burnt out. Find what your mild calorie deficit would be. When you do that, make sure 30% of your eating of that day is going to be protein. If you were to use a nutrition tracker, like there's plenty of apps to do nutrition tracking, or even if you estimated it, or if you came to us at Superhero Forge and actually got an eating guide and actually got nutrition coaching from us so you know how much to eat and what would be the best options for you, the two biggest things to track would be calories and protein. If you're in calorie deficit and protein sufficient, you will transform your body. Full stop. Triforce of Nutrition in the grand scheme of Zelda lore is blue. It's the Triforce of Wisdom. Because if you give yourself wise eating habits, you will get results. Which leads me to the third Triforce. Da -da -da -da. Now there's only one piece of Triforce left. The Triforce of Power. Janet's Triforce of Power. At the Forge, we call it the Triforce of Strength. The most simple rule of that Triforce applies. Get stronger. Now, I talked about the math before. You were 70% of your results come from your eating habits. 15 come from the movement, which leaves another 15 for strength. Strength training is what I call the force multiplier. The stronger you get, the better the results you get from your eating habits. The stronger you get, the better your cardiovascular system will become when you do the movements. The stronger you get, the more calories you burn in the movement and throughout the day. Whether you want the aesthetics to be lean, toned, dense, firm muscles, or actual muscle mass, muscle size, that all depends on eating habits. But at the core fundamental, the mechanics are the same. You get stronger. You get stronger by still staying in the calorie deficit, 
the body will not have the calories to create the size. So instead, it will create the density. Density in the muscles creates the firmness, the tone. Get that sleek athletic look like you're, like you're a, a Black Widow agent or Spider-Man or a Robin. You want to get jacked like Thor or Captain America, then you go in calorie maintenance or calorie surplus. You take in more calories than you burn because those calories will be going towards the stimulus of muscle growth. Because that's what's going to happen when you get that calorie surplus and you are sending signals to get stronger through the strength training. So, split the concept. Get stronger. Get stronger, but be a calorie deficit. You get leaner. Get stronger, but get bigger and stronger. Be, be in calorie surplus. What does it mean to be stronger? Get stronger. It has different definition depending on the spectrum and the realm and the goal but to simplify it like this here's what you're going to do step one pick an exercise let's use a squat for example you're just standing up and down squatting up and down step two establish how many sets you're going to do of that exercise a lot of times you do three to four sets a set is where you do a series of repetitions you do a series of squats and then you stop and then when you do it again and start again, that's the second set. Typically, you want to pick three to four sets. Three if you're a beginner, four if you're advanced. Step three, do a series of repetitions under some sort of resistance. So, could it be a back squat with a barbell over your back? Sure. Could it be a goblet squat with a weight in front of you held like this, like a cup? Sure. Could it just be your body weight? Absolutely. Do a series of those. Do a set of those. Final step. Over time, you're going to increase one or both of these things. The repetitions per set or the resistance in the set. So, for example, if we're going to be doing goblet squats, holding the weight in your hand while you squat up and down. And we got, say, 10 repetitions with a 50-pound dumbbell in our grasp. We did three sets of those. If we could do 12 reps per set with that same 50 pound dumbbell, you're getting stronger. Or if you could do 10 repetitions like before, but do a 55 pound dumbbell, you're getting stronger. Without going to the science of it all, if you increase the repetitions per set or increase the resistance per set, making it harder, but still the same reps. One of those two things means you're getting stronger. This is great because this creates a plethora of exercises that you can use to get stronger. If you do need a sample workout, uh, go into the description below for the Heroes Fitness Starter Guide. It'll have sample exercises and sample workouts in there, and it'll go into even more detail that way. Let's go back and summarize as well as contextualize. Whatever fitness goal you have, it's going to take doing at least something in each category of the Triforce. You need to find yourself a great movement to do. You find the 10K steps of everything. You need to have a set of eating habits that coincide with your fitness goal. If you're out to lose body fat, you're gonna need a calorie deficit. If you need to gain muscle size and muscle mass, you need a calorie surplus. Protein will be paramount regardless of the goal. And now that you're moving and feeding the body, you're going to strengthen the body using strength training. You can use any means necessary, body weight, dumbbells, barbells, machines, cables, bands, but you need to get stronger. In order to get stronger, you're either going to do more repetitions with the same resistance or increase the resistance or both. You plug something into each of those Triforce pieces and I assure you, you will get to your fitness goal. And adjusting it just means adjusting one piece of the Triforce in some way. That is a framework I give every single client at Superhero Forge to get them their awesome results. Now, if you have any more questions, go ahead, pop them in the comments below. Be sure to like this video if it was insightful. Be sure to share this if you can. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with upcoming videos. If you heard the audio version, be sure to follow or subscribe to the podcast wherever the podcast is available. As of this recording, if you want to watch this live and, and give live insights, 
be sure to catch me every Thursday at 6.30 Central Standard Time to record these podcasts. And be sure to follow me for each up-to-date pieces of information and to contact me directly on Instagram at superhero.forge. But once again, thank you guys for watching. And, uh, and I don't have a great way to close these videos out yet. But I'll figure it out. In the meantime, I'll talk to you soon.